So the Deep Learning in Daba is an organization we created about three years ago to strengthen machine learning in Africa. And we try to do that in three different ways to build communities, to create leadership, and then to recognize excellence in the development and use of machine learning across Africa. And over the last few years, we've just had the most uh, amazing time meeting the next generation of machine learning research. They inspire us in so many ways in the way they're thinking about their work, the kind of problems they're thinking about, their kind of energy to learn new things and their proactiveness. And uh, it has been really an honor to work with that in our community and we continue to do our work today to grow the community, to strengthen them in many other ways, to drive forward research um, across the continent and to build a kind of pan-African connectedness with, through science um, and also to strengthen our people everywhere. So my first advice is while you're a PhD student, it's good to try things out different things. So if you're considering an academic career, it's good to try and teach a class or to try and advise perhaps a more junior student or to try and write a grant to see if you like these activities and you could put up with them for the long haul while also doing your own research. And if you're considering being in industry, it's definitely a good idea to do an internship during the PhD in order to see that environment and to be able to experience working in a team on a particular project. And uh, afterwards, it's a really a very personal choice, uh, not just between industry and academia, but which kind of industry and which kind of academia, right? There's lots of opportunities on both sides. In industry, there are startups, there are big research labs, uh, there are places where it's more applied research and places where it's more fundamental research. And of course, in the academic institutions, some are more focused on teaching, some are more focused on research. And uh, so it's a very personal uh, kind of choice. And again, my advice would be to apply broadly and uh, then go visit and, and see the, the vibe of the place. Probably many interesting problems, uh, many uh, interesting people, and I probably have, have had the luck to work with uh, some of the greatest minds in the world, so I really learned a lot from them. Uh, probably maybe a little bit some aspiration to make the world better, at least in, uh, to, to, to the extent of like uh, limited and small uh, capabilities, but I think uh, we probably have the best uh, profession in the world. We can uh, work on fun uh, problems, we can uh, make things that, that potentially matter and can transform, if not immediately, in the longer term, uh, the way that, that we do things, uh, our technology. And uh, I'm even surprised that we are paid for it. I'm trying to always be inspired by like something like a scientific moral codex, which is like this idea to constantly like think about mechanisms, think about um, how and not how good or so this is not only in machine learning but also in quantum computing we constantly ask how much better can we make things and uh, so I'm trying to always like go into like how does this work and um, other than that every year I've got a different inspiration so sometimes I just like uh, two years ago I thought the entire time I would just like try to tear down the walls of what people have built in the years before and then I thought like okay now I have to just like think about theory and so it, it changed every year I'm preaching something else. <laughs> I have been lucky to speak at a machine learning summer school for maybe the last five years I am about to say so I feel very greedy actually so the mere fact that I get invited to speak at a machine learning summer school is um, is for me what is the greatest honor and every time I give those talks I think whether they are virtually or in person I get to learn my field again and it's actually the reason why I'm always so eager that every time you go and give a talk you get to rediscover your field again you get to learn again why it is that you fell in love with your field, why it is you wanted to do research again. And every time someone will ask me a very, what is a very simple question that I don't actually have an answer to, and that has made my thinking more robust, has clarified my own work, has helped me write better papers, and so I'm very grateful 
to every person who has been at a machine learning summer school from 2016 to this one in two weeks who has given me through their questions and through their energy a way to learn and be a better researcher myself so that may be my broad stroke highlight yes i have already been in this virtual one but uh, i decided to like you know also engage a bit not only be you know coming in for the lecture and um definitely my highlight was the round table that was fantastic because there were lots of people and we had actually just a you know a glass of wine and a very personal round table where we were just like talked about research and stuff and uh I think I won't forget that so uh, like there were fantastic questions and just a cool atmosphere and maybe one day I'll be somewhere present and then I think it will be even better